This is day two of the 15th annual Silicaga Magical Marble Festival held at Central Park right across from Bluebell Creameries. And we are joined with Glenn Dasher. Where are you from and how did you get started or inspired to sculpt? I'm from Huntsville, Alabama. And um, I was, as a small child, I used to go like look at statuary in the basement of the Telfair Art Museum in Savannah, Georgia. And um, I just always liked to make stuff. And, and I, I started, I taught for 30 years, sculpture for 30 years at the University of Alabama in Huntsville. And um, it's just always, it's like the best life I could imagine. Um, then I worked with the State Arts Council and some state officials. We went to uh, Italy in 2008 and to set this up. And I've enjoyed it as a participant ever since. What piece are you working on this year? Do you have a name for it? Is it just the idea right now? Just please elaborate about your piece. Uh, I tend to work sort of without plan, but this time a friend who, um, a very dear friend of mine, asked me to do a flame uh, sculpture for him uh, for his tombstone. <laughs> He's still, when he passes, when, for his ashes to be scattered. And so uh, this is a little different this time working with a specific plan in mind, but it's a flame anyway, or, a, or fire. Okay. And as far as the tools you use, is it mostly pneumatic, electrical, just a mixture of everything? Do you say, do you prefer hand only? No, no, no hand only. <laughs> uh, pneumatic, electrical. Uh, we use a lot of. Uh, if you see all the dust and all the, you know, the dust that's in the air, it's come from the the diamond bladed saws we use. Uh, they uh, cut slots, and then you use a pneumatic hammer. It's like a a small jackhammer and uh, use it to break away. So it's all about just breaking. You, the saws let you break big pieces, then the pneumatic chisels make you do smaller pieces, and eventually you end, you end up using sandpaper. It's all about taking the biggest piece you can knock off and it gets smaller and smaller and smaller until you find what you want. Well, thank you, Mr. Dasher, for joining us today here on day two of the 15th annual Silicaga Magical Marble Festival. This is Robert Pearson, Jr., reporting for WOIL and WOTM-TV.